watching. Today I created this Wonder Woman inspired comic book pop art look for you all for Halloween. I hope that you stay tuned that way you can see how I achieved this look. I'm using the Laura Mercier Hydrating Primer. This is great for dry skin. Then I'm going in with the Dip Out Promade by Anastasia Beverly Hills in Dark Brown and I'm using this to outline my brows. I'm doing them a little bolder today. I'm then going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel and I'm just using that to set my brows. And then going in with my favorite foundation by Lancome, I'm using that and putting that all over my face and making sure I have a nice even canvas. And then going in with the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer, I'm taking that and blending it out as well. And then taking the Laura Mercier, I'm putting that in all the areas that I do want to highlight and that I just use the concealer in as well. With the Sephora palette, I'm using the lighter brown and darker brown colors. With the light brown color, I'm going in just in my crease, and then I'm taking the, uh, the darker brown color onto the outer V of my eye. Going with the shimmer color as a base, and I'm applying that just on my eyelid. I'm putting it all through on my eyelid, and I'm just tapping it in. And then going back in with the Makeup Forever, the copper color, the starlit powder. I'm putting this all over my eye. As you can see, it's so pigmented. Then I'm blending that all out using a Morphe brush and then I'm just testing off all the excess powder that I had underneath my eye. Taking the dark brown color and then putting that underneath my eye and I'm just buffing that out. Then using this Ben Knight palette, I'm using the black in the palette to create a winged liner. Then I'm going in with the NYX liner in white and to the waterline of my eye. Going back in with black and I'm just elongating the line that I had made previously. I'm going in with this Morphe palette and I'm using this to bronze up my face and give me a nice glow and then I'm going in with the Tarte Feisty blush and I'm putting that all over and taking my favorite Becca Opal highlighter I'm putting that all over the high points of my face. I'm going in with the black color again I'm just using this to define certain parts on my face that I wanted to create a shadow with. I end up actually taking this off later on because I don't like it all that much but you know it's a learning process so drawing on more details of the costume itself and the paint and of Wonder Woman and I'm just going over those lines to make them nice and bold and sharp and really stand out well. Also just as a side note I wore this paint for several hours afterward I did this after I did this look and it turned out really well so I would really really recommend this Ben Nye paint. It stayed on really well, it didn't crack or crumble or come apart and oil didn't come through, it was great for the face so highly highly recommended. line my brows I wanted them to be a little bolder so I thought that outlining them like this and kind of calling them in would be good however I didn't like the end result so as you'll see later on I do take them off but just bear with me here it's my first time doing this particular look just think of it as anywhere that you would contour and that shadows are created that's where you would want to place this paint I did have a reference photo in front of me of Wonder Woman, that way I was able to see where she had certain shadows placed in her face and kind of just go from there. eyelashes on my lower lashes just to create the extra drama and definition and then I'm also taking it on my clavicles using the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip palette I'm going into the red color here and I'm just using that to outline my lips I didn't want to use the paint because my lips sometimes are very sensitive and because of that I'd rather use a lip color so hence I use the palette
and I'm just outlining them. That way we can really define them and make them look very 2D and comic-like. Then going back in, I'm also putting them in the inner parts of my lip. That way we can really create a definition. You can draw as many or as little lines as you need just to be able to get that look that you want then taking the white i'm using this to highlight so again with the white color you would use it to highlight any parts of your face that you really want to stand out and again it just kind of brings the whole look all together so i did highlight parts of my mouth just in various areas that i did want to stand out and again because it's going over the red it got a little pinkish but just go over it one or two times and it'll be great then i'm also going underneath my chin on the eyes and on my nose as well where i do want to highlight going in and I'm drawing the star you can also use a sticker for this or you can also use something else um, but because I didn't have I just kind of freehanded the star and as you will notice here you can see that I did take off the line that was over my eyelid and also I kind of fixed up the brows I took them off completely and did them again you know everything is a learning process and that's what's so great about makeup you there's no right there's no wrong you can just you know do whatever you feel that you want to do and whatever you feel looks right for me, it was looking a little too clear patchwork, like and a little too bold. So because of that, I did take it off. And here we are. So I redid this. And remember to have fun with this. Just make it your own. There's, you know, there's no way that it has to be. So that's what's so great about makeup and Halloween overall. back and to define the lines that I had done on my forehead because I had reads on my brows I had to take them off and I put some more foundation on so because of that I'm just redefining the lines and making sure they're nice and crisp and clear going with this bed night palette I'm using the gold color in the palette and I'm using that all over my forehead and I'm using a nice flat tip brush and this was great to get into those precise areas Get some colors overlapping, no big deal. Just go back in, sharpen them, add some more color right over top, and it'll just blend right in. Be sure to just have fun with this look and just make it your own. Just putting on some lashes from House of Lashes. I'm popping in some blue contacts, and your look is done. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell that way you can see when I'm creating new videos. Stay tuned for another Halloween look coming up real soon. Be sure to create a life that you love.